Hey, how's it going? It's a uh, sip day seven. <laughs> I didn't want to say sip seven because I thought I was going to stumble over my words or something. But it's sip shelter in place day seven, 14 day crafting challenge. Day seven. This is the halfway point. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. Anyway, tonight I am going to cut up these paper towel tubes. And last week, I think, I was probably rendering a video or something. And I took two paper towel tubes and I cut them in half. And I made these uh, mini books. <laughs> well, they're just... Ooh, and they fly too. Uh, but I just, and then I put a uh, rubber band on them. So I don't have, right now, I don't have any ideas for these other than I have to put paper in them and sew that, sew that paper in there. <laughs> I don't know. That's for you, Dolly. <laughs> okay, but I am not doing the books with these tonight. Tonight I am doing, if it better this way. I'm going to cut them, and I want to try out, this is a new pair of scissors, a Westcott pair. They are supposed to be comparable to my Fiskars Amplify scissors. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, see how well they work. Ooh, look at those. Silly boy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut maybe about a half inch. Maybe I didn't get a good enough grip. <laughs> or more. And <laughs> they gonna they're gonna fly. This is kind of wide, maybe three quarter inch or something. But what you can do with these, I can keep that one too. Uh, is if you if you look, you know, you think, oh look at that. You could make a flower petal with them. And so you would have to, this one of course is a little uneven. Hmm, it's uneven. Let's see how this one does. I a little bit more. I think I can handle this scissors better. Maybe I'm biased. <laughs> this is my go-to scissors for cardboard cutting. That's a little bit crooked too. <laughs> of course. I want camera. Oh wait, I can fix it. But you just cut a little bit like that, and even it out a little. And if you make enough, then you can you can glue them. And I was gonna try this, but I don't think that's gonna work because where's the this is the the oily one. I'm not sure that would stick. But hey, let's try it. Try this one for, it's for paper and plastic, and isn't cardboard just a bunch of paper smushed and glued together, right? If it doesn't work, I have some tacky glue here. So you can, if you put these all around, you can make uh, make designs. Uh, probably not recommend it for journals or anything like that. And then the thinner ones here, this very thin one, which I'm going to make even, try to make even thinner or at least even it out. You can use for making designs on your paper. Just take some, uh, maybe some acrylic spray, acrylic paint spray, and put a bunch of them down, and you can, you know, when you spray it down, or even alcohol ink spray, uh, it would make a really cool design on your paper. It would make that leaf design, and this one with the little thing sticking up is paper. <laughs> so you can, you can, oh! And then you have another design. But, did you see that coming? It's going to unravel. But even still, you can, you know, form it around like this, make a little swirly thing, and just any kind of design. It makes really cool, uh, makes your paper look really cool. I have a really cool design on there. So let's see, does this, did this stick? Oh, 
Let's try another one. Okay, I'm, I need to get used to these scissors. I know they work. Okay, even after hitting that. Mm, these are scrunchy. Now, they, they just don't make paper towels tubes like they used to. That's very thin. Yeah, I'm going to have to practice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All kinds of tearing up. I don't know. That's not such a good idea for those scissors. If you keep it low. Oof. Like that. Then you can... Yeah, that's, that's going to be crooked, right? Or you could also, you could do it like this. I'm going to try it like this. I'm going to flatten this. It hurts my hand. Flatten it a little. Now let's see how well this, this does. Oh yeah, that's way better. It just needed, like, this one goes out wider. I think then this one does. So this one. So we're gonna call this video testing out my heavy duty scissors. <laughs> no, <laughs> paper towel tube creations or something. So you could do it like that, and then you can shape them, kind of pull them out a little bit. They're not. They don't stay flat for you. Ooh, little wider petals I don't know we don't want to pull that do we <laughs> yeah that works and then another thing I want to do or want to show you is that if you are planning to do flower flower petals is because I have one here Oh, I only made one. Now it's like rabbit ears, right? Let me see if I have... Well, I'll do this one. It did stick. Now I don't know if it's going to stay stuck like that. But let's see. The... The sheet of uh, parchment paper that I'm using is Reynolds parchment paper. It's compostable, unbleached. Even the box is recyclable. Recycled and recyclable. Hmm. I don't know, that one's not sticking so well. And I want to get it a little closer to the bottom there. Get that point closer to the bottom. Oh, I did, uh, last night I did the painting, and so this is completely dry now. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. That's cool, right? I thought that was kind of cool. I was like, oh yeah, that looks cool. So let's try one of these. It feels like uh, it's better to do it, take one and put the glue on, and then... Oh no, did I just pull it apart? I did. Be gentle. And then we'll take this one, or this one, or this one, maybe this one. And this one I'm going to do both sides because I'm going to join join them on both sides. So yesterday, technically yesterday, Monday, March 30th, um, the college resumed classes and all classes are online now. And uh, some of my students 
were apprehensive at first, but I'm thinking if they go in and develop a routine, because I'm going to set up set up their routine so that they can, you know, manage that more uh, <laughs> more reasonably or better. And once they do that, it's going to be the same every week. Okay, so this is a flower, and I did watch a long time ago. I watched a YouTube video. I cannot even tell you who who did it. I don't think I'm subscribed to that person's channel. It was just, I was looking up information on, probably, on what to do with cardboard tubes. And this woman had done these flowers, not on... Um, well, I think she did one like this, but she did designs with these different, uh, with these shapes, you know, and then she put it up on her wall. It was amazing. And I thought, wow, that is, that is so cool. <laughs> so you could put this on, uh, even on cardboard, cardboard flaps and things like that. I got a ton of those <laughs> around here. And just kind of glue them down or paint the, the, cardboard surface first maybe in black and then make colorful flowers and things like that and oh <laughs> oh is that the greasy one no the greasy one is together fine we'll just do this maybe not enough glue there you know I just used this the other day oh it's not coming out nope that's your handy dandy pin Let's try it now. Yeah, yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work just a minute. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is definitely on there. So let me see. Now she's gone and done it. Well, that, I think uh, putting it on with the Scotch Create, I think I was, <laughs> I think that was wishful thinking, you know. And I'm going to, that one's stuck on there. Just a minute. I know I just put them together and now I'm pulling it apart, right? That one stuck on there. What's that about? Isn't that the oily one? Now the the thing about putting these together, I you know I haven't painted them or anything like that. Another idea that I have with the tubes is to take the decorative paper. I have like the nine by twelve, a big old pad of it, and just wrapping it and then cutting it. <laughs> cutting it in half. Uh, what else have I done with this? This is also a good way. If you cut, you cut a slit all the way down, uh, you can make a washi tape dispense dispenser, and it will hold several rolls of washi tape. So I don't know if that uh, rubbing that back and forth is kind of annoying or not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. What else? Oh, see, now I have the size. I could make a book with that one, you know. I could, uh... Alright. Don't cut it in half. Or... I could... Peel this off. For no apparent reason. If it bugs you too much that they keep flipping up like that, then you could actually take them apart. And I could wet this completely and then make a faux, faux leather book out of it, a faux leather mini book out of it. Yeah. So this is a flower. Okay, the, the next thing... Okay, so another way to... Uh, if you don't want just the regular uh, paper towel tube brown color you can uh, I recommend then painting the whole tube first and then letting it dry what I want to try is 
I want to try some of, I have um, folk art and deco art, like uh, what is the multi-surface, folk art and multi-surface, I want to try some of that, you know, like, uh, I'm, this is the tray for one of my art bin boxes, and I'm going to use some of that, oh. <laughs> I just had an idea, I had an idea. <laughs> what else? I should do the Crayola stamping thing because they're in here. Uh, I'm gonna just take two of them out just in case. Okay, <laughs> that took me a little longer than I thought. So, and then we're we gonna try this out. Can you believe I haven't tried this out except for when I put a little bit of paint into this one? Black paint to paint this. So that's on my channel. That's a thing video. And speaking of black, <laughs> I brought this out. Or I don't know if I'm going to use this or not, but I'm going to see. And let me get that paper towel out of there just in case. If you're going to paint, like cut these up and then paint them individually, it is going to take you a little bit of a, a while to do it. Uh, suppose you want to cut these up and you're thinking, oh, well, I just want different colors. Well, you could do it that way, too. You could just do, this is probably too too wide, but you can just paint like that around there and just do stripes all the way up, and then every single different color is a petal. So you could do it that way as well. But I think for this one, I'm just going to go straight up and paint. I want to see... I'm not going to put any gesso on here first. Normally, I would paint these with gesso. And you know, I did a video a long time ago where I painted these white. Not this one, of course, but... <laughs> okay, so I have here ice blue. So I'm going to try some ice blue. Do I have to shake it? Probably do. Give it a big shake. And... Ooh, nice. And I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Going to go with the cool colors. Oh, way too much there. <laughs> That's probably too much. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Wait, is the cap? <laughs> this is... Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long, long day. Okay, so... I ripped the little labels off and then... Poured them in, so I have here uh, purple pearl, and this one is berry, this one is ice blue, and this one is just teal, not just teal, but teal. <laughs> okay. And I'm not going to put water in here. I know water goes in here, but I'm not going to use, uh, put water in there. Dusty. <laughs> That's what you get for not using it. Get my scissors out of the way. Let me get this wet. Okay. All right. Let's go with the teal. Like I said, I'm just going to do it this way. I don't expect, I expect a shimmer, but I don't expect a full complete coat because I'm painting directly on the cardboard. I don't know if you've ever painted or colored cardboard before, but it'll seep right on through. You know, like, like I said, I'm not adding gesso to this first. If I put gesso on it first, it would... Uh, create that barrier between the cardboard and the paint so I wouldn't have to uh, repaint it or add an extra coat like I'm doing right now. I should probably wait between coats. Nah. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I gotta go to bed eventually tonight. I know you're dying to know what time it is. What time is it, Jamie? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's only 4.16. 4.16 in the morning. Okay. 
Now to hold it, there's a little hole here. <laughs> so yeah, you can do that. Could I get that out of the way? And now I'm going to make pretty, pretty colored water. It should shimmer and shine. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And use... I do expect these to be stained. You know, because of the pigment and the ink and the paint. And I'll try the blue now. Oh, that is perfect. That lid size is perfect for this brush. And we'll go this way. Is, oh yeah, there we go. I see the shine now. I might have to add a little bit more teal. I think I'm going to let it dry. Let that teal dry a little more. And then run it over a little bit more over the blue. Look at that. Paint your baby wipes, too. I mean, don't just stop with painting cardboard. Okay. Now, with the, the purple ones, I am going to use... a different water container and a different brush. This was already wet. I gotta dab it on the towel there. On the uh, the cloth. It's just an old t-shirt. Oh, we're going in this direction. So, that's how you paint a paper towel tube. <laughs> well, 
Oh, I have to wait anyway, right? So I'm going to wait a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, this isn't dry. <laughs> this is not dry. Wipe that off a little bit with the baby wipe. Maybe this right there. Do the paint test. Is it is it gone here? <laughs> Ooh, that looks cool on the side too. It's it the camera doesn't do that justice, but uh, that looks really cool on the on the on the rim there. I don't know if I should paint the rim. No, I think I'll wait. <laughs> I think I'll wait on that and not do that. And I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and cut up strips of this. I need to paint things. Maybe I'll find... Oh. No, we're just going to keep painting, right? Okay. What am I doing thinking I'll come back? I'll come back. No, I'm just going to paint these. I put the blue in there. Okay, so, this is a little bit damp, oh yeah, I have to wait, I have to wait a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to come back, and probably, I'm going to, I'm going to maybe wait 20 minutes, and then I'll come back in, and, excuse me, get some water, and cut that up into strips, into flower petals. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is dry. I cleaned up my area here, put my stuff away, or some of my stuff away. And this is much easier to bend now that I painted it. So it's a little bit, it's not completely dry, like dry as a bone dry, but it's dry enough for me to be able to cut it. I don't think I'm going to get dirty 
or painted scissor hand scissor handles <laughs> scissor blades or anything like that so I'm gonna use this one because I'm most comfortable using this one let's cut you can see how cool they are and look at these I set these all up they look like to me looking at them from the screen panel they look like washi tape rolls crookedness going on but I'm not really <laughs> I'm not concerned about that make some thin ones what if I want to make thin flower petals okay, let's go this way and make it change of scenery of sorts Now, obviously, I'm not going, going to paint the insides of these because, you know, I still got to edit this video and it would take too long to paint them on camera. So, look at all that. Beautiful, right? And you can shape them however you want them to be. You don't have to go with flower petals. You can put these in any arrangement that you want. You see down here, I, I painted this because I was getting rid of the paint of kind of, you know, I didn't want to see like, oh, look at all this I have. And I didn't really have a way to scoop it back into the containers. And there really wasn't that much in there, you know, just a, a little bit there. Look at that. That's cool. I could also use these as leaves. You know, I could uh, arrange them in a certain way. I could uh, arrange these like a tall one and a short one. Short width, tall or <laughs> short width, tall width. You know what I mean. <laughs> and just put them any old way I want on cardboard. So... And then have, oh, I might do that, some type of cardboard art. That will be sip number, who knows. <laughs> Maybe it'll be sip number 14 or something. That way I have enough time to paint, paint them in here or something. What color do you think would be good for that? Black? Gold? Oh. Maybe gold. That's a task. I don't know if I'll be able to do it just because I might wait until after the sip is over uh, because <laughs> uh, just be uh, because school because of classes and stuff like that. I still have to do lesson preps uh, and put them up on blackboard and things like that. I was just thinking about that a moment ago. Okay, and then we have these, of course. So I'm going to put some of these on end so you can see how they look. Cool. I have to do a screenshot. And this one. Okay. Say crafty. Yay. Sign off. I deactivated a couple of words. <laughs> Zenial, perspicacious, and zazzy because I've used those in my um, my other sip videos. So have a unique day. 
Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. You know, unless you're a bot. <laughs> Bye.